Hey, this is Brickzar. And we're going to look at a vintage set this time. This is set 710, Wrecker with Car. It's from 1973. It's one of the large vehicle sets. It's one of the more common ones. Um, it seems this one's easy to find on eBay. But um, just want to take a look at one of the copies of it I have. And you see it makes um, a Wrecker and a car to tow behind the record and I'll show you these up a little, a little closer. And first I'll show a close-up of the instructions instructions and see it's from 1973 and these sets have these base plates that have a hole in them. This is a 5x6 with a hole and then on the top of it I'll turn it over Oh, there it is. Sorry. This is a, another 5x6, and it has a hole in it, and you stick the, uh, the rod that holds the uh, wheel piece, and then you turn it. And I'll show you so that. here's the wrecker, and it has working steering. Now you got to push it down to steer it, and I'll show you why. Because if you force it, you can break this little pin. And I'll go ahead and take this off. This is how it works. The, the rod goes all the way through the vehicle, out the bottom like that. And that's your steering mechanism. And on, on this thing, there's the two little pins there, and that helps you lock it into position. And it's on the bottom of this plate, there's this pin. And it's very, very common to find these pins broken on the bottom of these, but this is a plate that's, um, it's got the wide section here and then the two by section here, but there, that part usually gets broken. I'll stick it back in there, and usually it's because people force it, but you, it hits it right there when you do that. But that's how it works. So I'll turn it back over, put the Lego piece, and most of the time they'll have a one by two with the Lego, old fashioned Lego logo on there. It does have opening doors both sides and since it was 73 you know they just got the basic colors like yellow blue red that type of thing black trans trans clear on the front it has the grill which is just a black print no stickers on any of this and here's the working lift it's just an old black string tied to a hook and you know, lift it up like that. Really not a lot to it. My bricks, if you can see that, mine are kind of worn out. Some of the, the bricks from age. I got a couple of these. I think I got two or three of this particular set. 710. Don't have a box. I wish I had the box. So without the box it's a pretty easy set to get. Now here's the car. No working doors or anything. It does have the same headlight brick on the front. It's just a real generic build, but it too has a special plate. I'll show you in the instructions. See, it's got a cutout pattern on that plate. So that's pretty unique um, for these sets. So they don't make plates like that really now. So most of the building large vehicle sets had these special plates with the hole in them or the cutout pattern. So there you go. That's basically all there is to it. I really think these are more for displaying than playing with. They're almost like a model. Kind of turn it. Oh, it turns back on its own. That's what it does. Okay. So anyway, that's the um, Wrecker with Car. A 40-year-old Lego set. And I'm going to eventually get around to doing all the large vehicle sets that I have. I don't have all of them, but I got a few. I've already done one, which was the London bus. So now we're doing the Wrecker with Car. So I just thought I'd show, show you an old vintage set. Wrecker with Car, set 710 from 1973. Thanks for watching, Brick Car. Thank you.